everybody, welcome back to the training of the Modicon M2, 2, 1. In this video we're going to see how we can work with the embedded analog input that we have in the M2, 2, 1. So let's go to the presentation. So depending on the M2, 2, 1 that you have, the location of the analog input okay, are changed. Okay. So in any M2, 2, 1 you have two analog inputs as you can see over here and the type of analog input is voltage from 0 to 10 volts okay there is a cover in front that we can remove and um, this is the process to remove it okay just screwdrive it over there remove it um, when you buy the entity one it comes with this cable okay so you have this connector and then you have the cables over here two cables per channel okay Click, and then you can put the cover again okay and if you lose this one this is the reference DMA CBL1 okay so now in order to configure the analog inputs basically we just need to go to the configuration tab select the analog inputs and then here we have the two analog input to configure here in the right you can see more specification about the inputs okay as you can see here, this is only for voltage, there is nothing else to change, but let's go to the configuration. Basically in here, in this embedded analog input, there is nothing else to touch. Everything is blocked, okay? So there is nothing to do. We just need to add the comments and we can add, if you want, the symbol, okay? So we can use this in our program, as we saw in the previous videos. So. This is an example how you can use it, okay? See here the symbol, I'm using the symbol over here to assign the value to a percentage NW variable and if I want I can share with the HMI or display this value, okay? So I can see the total amount of words that I have, okay? And you can see here by default we are not able to change it, the minimum is zero and the maximum is 1000. So this 1000 is 10 volts, so in this example, in the analog input one, I have assigned 10 volts, and this is the the row value, okay, 1000, which means 10 volts. And if I assign to the input, in this case the second one, 500, it means that I have 5 volts in the input. So, in order to test this, what I'm going to do on architecture, because I don't have the sensor part, we're going to see what is the idea. I have selected this uh, pressure sensor, okay, that goes from 0 to um, 250 bars, okay, and the output of this sensor goes from 0 to 10 volts, so it's compatible with the analog input that we have on the controller, okay, and if we want to communicate this, this should be the connection, okay, output over here, this one, the common, and if we require a power supply, we have the modicon power supply, as I can show you in here. Okay, this is the, the catalog for the power supply, the modicon power supply. You can see here the range. Okay, it's very straightforward the selection. Okay, but we're gonna focus on this. So, as I don't have the sensor with me, okay, I'm gonna cheat a little bit over here. I'm going to use a PLC, another one, the M172, that has analog output. So I'm going to configure one of the analog outputs as a voltage so I can go from 0 to 10, okay, and put that information to the M221. So the idea would be to, to see from 10 volts, when I receive the 10 volts, the maximum range, okay. In this case it's linear, the response of the sensor, so it will be very easy, straightforward to calculate the bars to visualize in the HMI or in other place. So we continue with this so this is very important so as the output of the sensor that we have has a linear response okay as I show you in this graphic okay we can make a linear linearization over here okay that's why in the next here I using the a linear equation okay 
So based on two points, I can calculate the offset and the slope. Okay, and I can use those values in our program, okay, to visualize the real value that I want. Okay, so just to explain a little bit, if you have two points, you can calculate the lineal, okay, um, and you can calculate the offset and the slope. Here you have the formulas, so you can easily calculate this in case you want for another point or another type of sensor. Okay, it's very straightforward. And in here, what we're going to do is to open the application that we want, okay, and configure the analog input. And then we're gonna use the int to real in order to make the linearization and use a percentage nf variable, okay, in order to show the real value of the pressure. So if we go to the application, okay, this is application, and I'm going to put in this side, just hold on a minute. Da, 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 da. Okay, so I'm going to name this as a analog input pressure. Okay, as you can see here, there is no way to configure this. The scope also, minimum and maximum is fixed. Nothing else we can do except the comments. So here, analog input pressure 0 200 bar okay we can apply this and then we can go to the programming so in the programming we can add a rank in here what we can do is to assign here um, auxiliary variable for example uh, nw0 two point equal the variable that will be underscore pressure okay now what we need to do is to transform this row value okay into something that we can read so it should be percentage m f 10 in this case or it could be another one it's up to you int to real here i need to use the auxiliary variable percentage nw which is the row value Multiply by the slope plus the offset part is zero. Okay, so I'm not going to put it. Okay, and this is calculated in here. Okay, so I have the two points. Okay, for my graphic, so I'll show you in here. So the starting point is zero, zero. And the other point is uh, the 100 percent that we make case will be the 250 bars okay and here is the 10 volts that would be my row value and my row value is 1000 okay that's why i use these two points over here to calculate so if we go back here now we can connect to the controller okay i'm going to say this connect to the plc Okay, and you can see in there in the controller, okay, these are the two K the two channels, okay, in front of the controller. This is the cover. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is to connect to the other. Okay, let me just unload this. Okay. Now that I finally connected with the M221 and download the application. Okay, we can read some values. Okay, with this to finish, start programming. Here you can see the number two, which is the row value, probably is almost zero volts. Okay, uh, it should be two, uh, 20 millivolts, if I'm not wrong. So if we go to the other software, okay, let me just show you it's in the other window here da, da, da. I'm already connected with the other controller let's see the calibration for this PLC okay the analog output is configured at voltage and the output uh, da, 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 da. 
here is in zero so if I change this to 100 right okay which is the 100 percent of the value that you want you can see there that is 250 okay which should be uh, 250 bars so just to check what is this have a multimeter over here so we can read at the moment Okay, what is the output of the of the other controller? Okay, so if you take this like that, now I'm going to measure the output from the other controller. So you can see in there that you have the ten volts. Now, if I change this to, for example, 50 and I write this you can see there are the 5 volts and in the software you can see the half okay so that is how um, you can convert the units okay let me just put this 25 just to show you what I see okay and this is the value in bars that we can read and use in another software. Okay, so if we continue with the presentation, okay, so we are also able to check if we have a problem on the analog input. So that's why we have the percentage SW80. So if we go to the software now, over here, uh, we create an animation table. Here, you can use the SW80 to see if everything is all right or not. And you can see here, this value is in one, so it means that everything is all right, okay? Because it's the bit one. If we go this to decimal, you can see the first bit, zero, is working fine, okay? So that means that uh, there is no issue on the controller. Okay, so this is what what you need to do. Okay, so create an animation table and add the SW80. So this is how you can configure the embedded analog input of the Modigon M21. Remember, if the sensor that you have has a linear response, you can use the linear equation in order to linearize the the um, the value that you receive from the analog input so thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one